taking a final and further step back. What do we do when we're looking at the balance in copyright law? How do we address or redress that issue and that balance? Like I suggested, look within the existing frameworks first and foremost. Look at the flexibility and the scope within that framework, and that's the internal exceptions that we've been talking about here. But externally as well, and as an outcome of recent discussions, I think even as IPR, uh, lawmakers and policy makers, we need to look beyond just what IP and copyright has always done, what methods we've always used, what language we've always used, and look at possibly what jurisprudence in human rights and other laws and policies related to free expression can teach us. 